Breaking news from Italy this morning has scientists on high alert. Fishermen in the Bay of Naples are reporting something that they've never seen before. Massive clusters of bubbles breaking the surface of the Mediterranean Sea and water that's suddenly heating up to dangerous temperatures. This isn't happening in just any body of water. This is occurring directly above one of Europe's most dangerous supervolcanoes, a geological monster that sits beneath half a million people and has the power to affect global climate when it awakens. What Italian authorities discovered when they investigated these reports has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. And what it means for the people living in Naples could change everything we thought we knew about volcanic warning signs. Italian authorities are confirming that right now, as we speak, the waters around Naples are experiencing unprecedented hydrothermal activity that has scientists scrambling to understand what's happening beneath one of the world's most populated volcanic regions. The first reports came in early this morning from fishing crews working the Bay of Pozzuoli. Multiple vessels reported seeing large columns of bubbles erupting from the seafloor, creating what one captain described as underwater geysers that brought warm water rushing to the surface. When the Italian Coast Guard responded to investigate what they initially thought might be an underwater gas leak, they discovered something far more concerning. Sensors showed that water temperatures in specific areas had jumped several degrees above normal, not just at the surface, but at significant depths. The Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology immediately deployed emergency response teams with thermal imaging equipment and underwater sensors. What they found has prompted the highest level of volcanic monitoring protocols to be activated across the region. Advanced thermal cameras revealed organized patterns of gas emissions coming from specific points on the ocean floor, creating columns of heated water that rise like invisible chimneys from the depths. These aren't random bubbles. They're systematic releases coming from underwater vents in a formation that tells scientists exactly what they're dealing with. The location makes this discovery absolutely critical. This hydrothermal activity is happening directly above Campi Flegre, KMP Velastre, a massive supervolcano that has been showing increasing signs of unrest for months. Unlike Mount Vesuvius, which most people know about, Campi Flegre is largely hidden from view, but exponentially more dangerous. What scientists have discovered about these underwater emissions is forcing them to completely reevaluate their understanding of how this volcanic system operates and the implications for the densely populated region above are staggering. Most people have never heard of Campi Flegre, but volcanologists consider it more dangerous than Mount Vesuvius, and new data shows it's been quietly building. Unlike the famous cone-shaped volcanoes most people picture, Campi Flegre is what scientists call a caldera, an eight-mile-wide collapsed crater that formed after massive eruptions thousands of years ago. The entire city of Naples and surrounding communities sit inside this ancient volcanic crater, completely unaware that they are living within one of the most powerful geological features on Earth. Recent seismic data reveals that this supervolcano has been exhibiting what geologists call bradyseism, a process where the ground slowly rises as pressure builds underground. Over the past several months, Elevation measurements show the land has risen by feet, not inches, causing significant infrastructure problems throughout the region. The earthquake activity has been particularly alarming. Last week alone, seismic monitoring stations recorded over 60 earthquakes in just two days, with tremors strong enough to crack building foundations and disrupt daily life across multiple communities. While none of these quakes caused major structural damage, their frequency and pattern suggest something significant is happening deep underground. Local authorities report that residents throughout the region are experiencing phenomena that sound almost supernatural. Beaches are making audible hissing sounds as gases escape through the sand. The smell of sulfur has become common in many neighborhoods. Some areas experience ground temperatures hot enough that residents cannot walk barefoot on certain surfaces. Surfaces, what makes Campi Flegre particularly dangerous, is its history. When this supervolcano last erupted in 1538, it created a 400-foot mountain called Monte Nuovo in just eight days. But that was considered a minor eruption compared to what this system is capable of producing. Historical records show that 39,000 years ago, Aeftikis of 
Campi Flegre exploded with such force that it covered most of Europe in volcanic ash and altered global climate patterns. The geological evidence of that eruption can be found in sediment layers from Russia to North Africa. Demonstrating the truly massive scale of destruction this volcano can cause. The current signs of unrest are following patterns that closely match the warning signs that preceded previous eruptions. But scientists say the timeline and intensity of current activity doesn't match any historical precedent they've studied. The half million people living directly above this awakening supervolcano are reporting experiences that reveal just how dramatically conditions are changing in one of Italy's most densely populated regions. Throughout Pozzuoli and surrounding communities, residents describe a constant sense that the earth beneath their feet is alive and moving. Local business owners report that building foundations are shifting enough to cause doors and windows to stick. Some residents say they can feel subtle vibrations through their floors that seem to follow no predictable pattern. The changes are visible everywhere. At the Pozzuoli Harbor, boats that were floating in the marina just months ago are now sitting on dry land because the seafloor has literally risen up. The entire coastline has shifted, exposing ancient Roman ruins that had been underwater for nearly 2,000 years. Many residents are drawing on memories of the 1980s, when similar ground swelling and seismic activity forced mass evacuations that lasted for years. Entire neighborhoods were abandoned as homes became uninhabitable from constant ground movement. Families were separated, businesses destroyed, and when people finally returned, the landscape had permanently. Emergency management officials report that evacuation planning has become a constant concern. Schools now conduct earthquake drills as frequently as fire drills. Local hospitals have developed protocols for rapid patient evacuation. Transportation authorities have identified multiple evacuation routes in case primary roads become unusable due to ground movement. What's particularly striking is the resilience these communities have developed. Despite living with constant uncertainty, daily life continues. Markets operate, schools function, and families maintain their routines while staying prepared for rapid evacuation if conditions deteriorate. The psychological impact is significant but manageable for most residents who have developed what experts call volcanic literacy, an ability to read subtle environmental changes and interpret them as warning signs. This knowledge, passed down through generations, helps communities maintain functionality even under extraordinary geological stress. However, scientists emphasize that current activity levels are unprecedented in recent history, and the patterns they're observing don't match previous periods of volcanic unrest in the region. Scientific analysis of the underwater bubble formations and thermal activity has revealed something that's both reassuring and deeply concerning. These phenomena aren't signs of imminent eruption, but evidence of massive pressure. It changes deep underground that could continue for years. Dr. Antonio Cascetta from the Italian National Institute of Geophysics explains that the underwater venting represents a complex system of pressure release occurring thousands of feet below the seafloor. As gases and superheated water build up in underground chambers, they seek the path of least resistance to escape, creating the organized patterns of bubbles researchers are observing. Advanced monitoring equipment now provides unprecedented insight into this process. Thermal imaging reveals that superheated water is being forced upward through fractures in the seafloor by gases escaping from the magma chamber. Each bubble cluster carries specific chemical signatures that tell scientists about temperature and pressure conditions deep underground. The monitoring system operates continuously, with sensors measuring everything from ground elevation changes accurate to millimeters to gas composition analysis to magnetic field variations. This data creates a real-time picture of how the volcanic system is responding to increasing pressure. What makes this situation particularly complex is that hydrothermal activity like this can persist for extended periods, potentially years or decades, without leading to eruption. However, it definitively confirms that the magma chamber is active and under pressure meaning the volcanic system is fully awake even if not ready to explode. Current pressure release through underwater venting may actually be preventing more dangerous outcomes by allowing gases to escape gradually rather than building to critical levels. However, if these venting pathways become blocked, or if pressure increases beyond the system's capacity to release it safely, conditions could change rapidly. 
The challenge for scientists is that while they can monitor current conditions with great precision, predicting future behavior of volcanic systems remains extremely difficult. Each supervolcano operates according to its own timeline and follows patterns that may not become clear until after major events occur. What historical evidence does provide is crucial context for understanding just how powerful and unpredictable this geological system can be. Historical records of Campi Flegre's previous eruptions provide both valuable insights and sobering warnings about what this supervolcano is capable of producing when it fully awakens. The most recent eruption in 1538 demonstrates how quickly conditions can change from warning signs to active eruption. Historical documents from that period describe weeks of increasing earthquake activity and ground swelling similar to what's happening today. Then on September 29th, 1538, the ground suddenly split open in a field near Pozzuoli. Eyewitness accounts describe explosions that could be heard across the entire Bay of Naples region, followed by continuous ejection of hot rocks, ash, and volcanic gases. Within just eight days, this activity created Monte Nuovo, Duo. New Mountain, a 400-foot-tall volcanic cone that permanently altered the local geography. What makes this historical precedent particularly relevant is that the warning signs preceding the 1538 eruption closely match current conditions, ground swelling, increased seismic activity, and hydrothermal changes. However, modern monitoring suggests that current activity is more intense and sustained than what was recorded before the 1538 event. The true power of Campi Flegre becomes clear when examining its ancient history. The Campanian Ignimbrite eruption 39,000 years ago represents one of the largest volcanic events in European history. This explosion ejected hundreds of cubic miles of material into the atmosphere creating ash deposits that can still be found in geological layers from Russia to North Africa. Climate data suggests this ancient eruption caused significant global cooling due to the massive amounts of ash and gas injected into the atmosphere. Archaeological evidence indicates it essentially eliminated early human settlements across large areas of Europe and the Mediterranean. Even the Romans, despite their engineering prowess and military dominance, approached this region with extreme caution they established settlements here specifically because of the volcanic activity, believing the constant steam, sulfur emissions, and bubbling hot springs indicated divine power. The mythological entrance to the underworld was supposedly located at nearby Lake Avernus. Modern volcanic monitoring provides capabilities the Romans couldn't imagine, but the fundamental challenge remains the same, predicting when a supervolcano will transition from showing warning signs to active eruption. Current geological evidence suggests Campi Flegre operates on cycles that span thousands of years, making it difficult to predict short-term behavior based on historical patterns. As underwater venting continues in the Bay of Naples and seismic monitoring equipment records ongoing pressure changes, scientists are documenting geological processes that reveal fundamental truths about living on an active planet. Advanced monitoring systems show that Campi Flegre isn't exhibiting random activity. It's following complex patterns that suggest the underground system operates according to its own logic and timeline. Underwater vents aren't opening randomly. They're appearing along specific geological features that correspond to the ancient structure of the collapsed caldera. Ground elevation changes aren't uniform across the region. They're occurring in predictable zones that match the underground architecture of magma chambers and gas pathways. Even earthquake timing seems to follow cycles that suggest the volcanic system has its own rhythm for releasing and building pressure. This understanding is revolutionizing emergency preparedness strategies throughout the region. Evacuation plans are being continuously refined based on real-time geological data. Early warning systems are being improved to provide more precise information about changing conditions. Communication networks are being strengthened to ensure rapid information distribution if conditions deteriorate. Educational programs are helping residents understand volcanic warning signs and appropriate responses. Local schools integrate geological literacy into their curricula. Community organizations conduct regular emergency preparedness exercises. Healthcare facilities maintain enhanced readiness protocols for potential mass casualty events. The economic implications are substantial but manageable. Tourism continues throughout the region, though visitors receive information about volcanic activity and emergency procedures. Local businesses have developed contingency plans for temporary evacuations. 
Insurance policies reflect the increased geological risks. International scientific cooperation has intensified, with volcanic monitoring experts from around the world sharing data and anal analysis techniques. This collaborative approach ensures that the most advanced monitoring and prediction methods are being applied to understand Campy Flegre's behavior. What's becoming clear is that this situation represents more than a local geological the phenomenon. It's a case study in how modern societies adapt to living with natural forces that operate according to their own timelines and logic. The underwater venting and ground swelling occurring around Naples serve as reminders that human civilization exists within geological systems that were here long before us and will continue long after we're gone. How we respond to these reminders with preparation rather than panic, with scientific understanding rather than superstition, demonstrates our capacity to coexist with a dynamic planet. Current monitoring will continue indefinitely as scientists work to understand whether Campy Flegre is beginning a new cycle of activity or simply releasing pressure that has been building for centuries. Either way, the half million people living above this supervolcano are proving that human communities can adapt and thrive even under extraordinary geological circumstances.